such a informative speech now i would like to invite dr aftab ahmed to come on stage and give introduction on bio safety awareness in bio labs bismillahir rahmanir rahim respected vice chancellor dean faculty of pharmacy dr samiullah dr barkat faculty members students assalamu alaikum well i'm really delighted to be here at this university because uh, this is my first visit and i'm really impressed by the campus because it's really green and uh, dr barkat was uh, telling us on the way uh, coming to this hall that it is uh, through the vice chancellor that he has a vision to who has transformed uh this university from a place like a jungle to in a beautiful uh, green campus so it's it's really great effort <laughs> by the last time well as i am talking to the young researchers of pakistan and being part of national academy of young scientists and for the vice chancellor is also here so we will talk in detail about the bio safety aspects in our laboratories but before that i would like to give you an overview of status of education science and technology in pakistan because you are the future of pakistan and we have to work hard to make pakistan a prosperous country a, a dwell country well you you are very much familiar that once there was an agriculture revolution that resulted in different civilization and there were few civilization here in this part of the world and then there was industrial revolution that actually converted the countries into dwelling countries and developing countries and still we are like a developing country and presently is the era of information is the era of knowledge and those countries who are putting more efforts in education science and technology they are the leading countries in the world and i will give you several examples that how knowledge has transformed different countries and why different countries are actually lagging behind and how we can take the pace and we can also be a dwell country in the world like you are from the pharmacy department and you are very much familiar that there was treatment of hepatitis c for example and recently a drug came that has revolutionized the treatment and you know the annual sale of that drug that drug is also available in pakistan so the annual sale of that drug named swalty was 11 billion us dollars and a recent treatment for hepatitis c is apcluza that's effective for all the six genotypes of hepatitis c and the year sale of that single drug is 18 billion us dollar and you are familiar that the total export of pakistan how much is that is around 22 billion us dollar so a single drug has the same value to the total export from pakistan so you can have like idea that how much important is to have the information and knowledge in this era of the time if we talk about some of the application for example we use for communication whatsapp everybody use that the the sale of whatsapp the single application was 19 billion us dollars so a single application has the worth equal to total export from pakistan i was last year i was in singapore i couldn't join this year uh, in one of the summit for the young scientists so i i will give you an overview like where singapore is standing and where we are standing in pakistan if we talk about the total population of singapore is just 5.5 million the total area of singapore is 719 square kilometers and what is the population of pakistan 200 million population and total area is 796095 square kilometer so is there is a comparison between singapore and pakistan so the 5.5 million population we have 200 million population that is 719 square kilometer area and we have 7 lakh 96095 hundred square kilometer area and now you have a comparison about the total import and export from pakistan and singapore the total export as i mentioned is around 22 billion us dollar last year and the total import from pakistan is around 44 billion us dollar last year and you know how much was the total import and export from singapore is a very small country the total export from singapore was 519 billion us dollar and their total import was 464 billion us dollar so is there is any comparison 
So is, if a small country based on information, knowledge, science and technology can contribute that much without any natural resources, Pakistan is really a blessed country with so many natural resources with such a huge human resource because we have a like, huge youth population how much we can contribute for the economy of Pakistan so this is that that's why I want to emphasize that this is very important that we should realize this fact that education science and technology is very important for Pakistan let, let me give you a scenario that what is the status of education for example the total literacy data of Pakistan is around 60 percent you are very much familiar in, if we talk about like the spending on education in Pakistan, Pakistan was ranked at 172 country among 180 countries. If we talk about the higher education, we are standing at 124th position among 145 countries. So we are very much behind in education and this is the area we have to focus and that's why I'm talking actually about these statistics because